Nanolex is very proud to introduce the NCCS app, the Nanolex cloud control system. Nanolex has made the new app for both the iPhone and Android devices, free for download. You can use the app to control your grow room on site via Bluetooth, on your phone, or remotely from anywhere in the world with your smartphone or tablet over internet access through secure and encrypted servers. The phone app version of the Nanolex cloud control system is far more versatile and extensive compared to the original PC-based software release. With the app, you can set the perfect growing parameters and have the peace of mind knowing it's all automated. The new NCCS phone app is an all-in-one application that will continue to expand beyond wireless lighting control, allowing you to monitor and control temperature, humidity, CO2, and even pH. The next launch of the Nanolux cloud control system will also include remote connectivity to your security cameras, environmental and nutrient dosing controllers. We are excited in bringing you the newest and most reliable wireless environmental controllers on the market. Hello, I'm Carlos with Nanolux Engineering. Today, I'd like to cover some important features of the NCCS, the Nanolux cloud control system. First and foremost, I want to explain some key differences between the Windows-based application and now the new phone-based application. The new DTU, the data transfer unit, the new one has two antennas. That's one of the key differences. Here is a close-up picture of the new app version DTU, the data transfer unit. As you can see again, two antennas, three indicator lights, and it says Nanolex Cloud Control System NCCS app version, which is your phone version. One thing I want to clarify is that if you are running the older Windows-based version, of the RTU DTU, your ballast will look a lot like this. Your receptacle will just say RTU. On the other hand, if you are running the new app version, the phone version, your ballast will say app only, RTU, and the receptacle will look just like this. If you have the Windows-based Nanolex cloud control system and you would like to use the new mobile phone app version, you can do so. You must upgrade the DTU and use special type of RTUs called Revision C1 RTUs. They look like this. They will allow you to operate your Windows and CCS ballasts, your older ballasts, with your newer phone app. All previous and current Nanolex Cloud Control System customers can upgrade for free both their DTUs and RTUs through April 20th, 2017. Downloading the Nanolux cloud control system is fairly straightforward. If you have an iPhone, you would go to your Apple iTunes store and search for Nanolux. And you would find it right there. You click and on download, you select, and here we have it. If you happen to use an Android device, like myself, you want to go to the Google Play Store you select Google Play Store, again, in the search bar, you search for Nanolux, and there you have it, the NCCS. All right, we're gonna be adding a DTU to our device. We'll go ahead and plug in the DTU. Next thing we wanna do is turn on your Bluetooth. Do not connect to the device through Bluetooth, just turn on your Bluetooth. The app will connect to the device for you. Okay, once you have signed in on your app, you're gonna go ahead and add a DTU to it. We're gonna attach our mobile device to the DTU. Once again, our DTU has been uh, plugged in. Our Bluetooth on our phone has been turned on. And we are now going to go to Control Center. Here we go, click the plus symbol at the top. Okay. Slide down to rescan the code. So we're gonna be taking a picture with our scanner. We take the back of the DTU and there's a QR code in the back. We go ahead and read that. And the DTU has been added successfully. Once you have scanned the DTU, now you want to connect to it via Bluetooth. You go ahead and press the Bluetooth symbol up here on the top left. It'll scan. You'll see it says scanning. In fact, it already found it. You select it. So 
says connected to DTU right here, confirm. You go ahead and click on back. As you can see, your Bluetooth symbol is blue. That is how you know you're fully connected. To see the DTU's inventory, you just select it. As you can see here, I've created three groups. Group one, group two, and group three. These are technically virtual rooms or tents. I have special conditions for these. So this is group one, group two, and group three. I have no RTUs allocated to them. I have zero here, zero in group two, and zero in group three. Let's go ahead and add some RTUs into group one. You select group one. You click on the plus symbol up here. It says reminder, please mark your RTUs. This is the time where you now wanna take your each individual RTU and identify it with your DTUs. The process is quite fast. 005 has been identified. This one is 102. 102 has been identified. And this one is 505. Excellent. As you can see here, in group one, you can see all three RTUs have been identified. Their status is red which means that there's no communication with the DTU to the RTU quite yet, but they have been identified. Once again, you can see that in group one, there are three RTUs in its inventory. To see the schedule for a group or a room, you simply just select auto setting here on the top. In green, it is here where you get to schedule and you get to program your lights. You have a start time an end time and your power setting. Once you are done scheduling, you click on save. To create a dawn at sunrise and dusk at sunset effect can be a little tricky in a 24 hour schedule. So I made these two graphical representations to help you out. The tricky part about understanding a 24 hour schedule is that it begins at midnight. So here you have the lights are still off until 7 a.m. So from midnight to 7 a.m., the lights are off. At seven o'clock, the lights turn on 50% power. And then from 7.30 to 6.30, I have them on at Superlux, which is 110%. So they're completely on. And then from 6.30 to seven, they're back at 50% power, which is basically my sunset. And then from seven to midnight, they are off. If your lights turn on in the evening, then that means that at midnight to 6.30, it's on at 110%. Then from 6.30 to 7 in the morning, it's on at 50%, which is basically our dusk. And then from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., the lights are off. From 7 p.m. to 7.30, I have a sunrise at 50%. And then from 7.30 to midnight, they're on at 110%, which is my super lux. This next tip is actually kind of cool. It allows you to control individually a ballast rather than a group of ballasts or a room of ballasts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, the NCCS. Click on that here. We'll go ahead and click on Control Center. We'll click on the DTU control center. What you do here is you make two additional groups. So here I have group two is my off group and group three is my permanently on group. And what you simply do is you just reassign. You reassign a ballast from your schedule to the off group. For instance, if you're trying to troubleshoot it, you're trying to troubleshoot an RTU or you're trying to troubleshoot a lamp or maybe you're gonna replace a lamp or a reflector. So here we are, we're going to now reassign the ballast from group one to group two. We're gonna go from this group to this group. Click on group one, there it is, 1050. So we're gonna click on edit up here in the corner. Then we're gonna select the ballast, you'll see a little green check mark. 
Then we're going to click on change group down here below. Now when you do that, it gives you a choices here. You can go to group two or you can go to group three. Group two, of course, was our off group. The moment I click on change here, the light will turn off. So now at this point in time, I can go and work with that ballast. I can uh, change a lamp, I can uh, change a reflector, I can troubleshoot an RTU. So here we can see that we managed to assign that RTU from our automatic scheduled group to group two, which is our off group. In fact, we can see it right here. And if we click on it and we select it, we see it it's right, located right up here. It's in gray because it means that it is communicating with the RTU, but the RTU is off. For safety purposes, always remember to disconnect the ballast or the fixture from the mains or the power source whenever you are servicing it. That means whenever you are replacing the lamps and or reflectors. We here at Analyze wish you the best of luck with your gardens. Thank you for watching.